Hi, this is Gina with TAPIQ, and I'm going to be walking you through on this video how to update your TAPIQ with the latest firmware. The first thing that you're going to do is plug in a probe into your TAPIQ and then plug the USB cable into your computer and then plug it into the TAPIQ. If you have a version 1, you'd also want to plug in the adapter into the wall at this time. Okay. You're going to look over at your TAPIQ and it's going to show you the version that's on there. Mine's version 3.00. So you're going to mark that down and then um, we're ready to come on. So we have a support article on our portal. If you go to tapiq.freshdesk.com, you are going to see here firmware updates under downloads. This has the instructions on how to update your firmware and it also has the files that you're going to download depending on what version you are. Version 0 is going to be updated to 0 0.04, version 1 to 1 1.03, version 2, 3, and 4 is going to be updated to version 4.01. This new update is going to be preparing your TAPIQ for what we call our offline mode. The offline mode is the ability to get temperatures from your TAPIQ with your mobile app directly bypassing the Wi-Fi network. And um, this will be useful if you go camping or somewhere where you don't have Wi-Fi. You can use offline mode in place of your normal Wi-Fi mode. It's also going to allow you to configure your TAPIQ through your mobile phone where you'll no longer need to have the um, setup program, which we're going to be using today in the future for changing your Wi-Fi or setting up your TAPIQ. You will be able to do that directly from your phone. So I have version 3.0, so I'm going to click version 4.0 and it's going to download here show in folder and I've already done this several times so it's going to update here this is the one you'll see you're going to right click there and copy it and I'm just pasting mine directly to my desktop because that's the easiest place for me to find it since I already have it I'm just replacing it again and it, here it is on my desktop now to install the update you're going to have to use the setup program that you used to install your TAPIQ. So you should have an orange icon with a T on your desktop for TAPIQ setup on either your Mac or your Windows PC. If you don't have the TAPIQ setup program, you're going to need to go back to TAPIQ.com and we've got a link at the bottom here that says downloads. And by the way, this website is changing, so the downloads might be at the top, they might be in a different place, but you'll still see a downloads link. And from that downloads link, you see there's Windows Setup Program, Mac Setup Program, also a short installation video. Um, you do not have to go through a full installation. All you need to do is get the Setup Program back on your computer. So you'll just download it again and um, once it unzips, you'll do the same thing of show and folder and then unzip it and go through the steps for setting it up. So, okay, so most of you will probably already have it on your computer. So you're going to double click this orange icon and then you're going to log in with your account ID that you have set up previously. For your TAPIQ. Go to the Utilities tab. And what I um, want to point out is if you've had your TAPIQ for a very long time, then you're not going to have this Fahrenheit at the top. That's going to be a clue that you, uh, you, you need the latest setup program. It's been released for over two years, but for some people, you still might have the old one in. If that's the case, then you'll go through and you'll do 
and un uninstall through your control panel or add remove programs, tap Q setup, then go to the website and do the setup just like I showed previously. Okay, so the first thing to do is let's make sure that TapaQ is talking to the um, computer and I just you click the MAC address button. You should get a please wait and it should show you your MAC address. If for some reason you don't have the MAC address, it could be there's something going on with your drivers. Under register new TapaQ, there's a tutorial here about how you can make sure your drivers are installed correctly. Okay, so mine connected fine. I'm going to do the update firmware. Does the TapaQ screen display PC connected? You look over at your TapaQ and it should tell you PC connected. Say yes. What it's doing right now is verifying that you don't already have the latest firmware. If you do, it would give you a note, you already have the latest firmware, no need to update. Since mine's not, it says, have you downloaded the, the TapQ hex file? So yes, we downloaded it. A yes here. I put it on my desktop. Version 4, TapaQ firmware. You just double click on the file. Now this may take a couple of minutes or it could even take a little more depending on the speed of your computer. I have noticed that Macs seem to go faster, but um, if you just leave the screen up, don't minimize or change anything because I, I find that if you interrupt it somehow, it just wants to stop. So just let it go until it tells you that it's finished updating. If for some reason it doesn't finish updating, it looks like that it stopped. And sometimes people get scared because their their LCD no longer shows anything, it goes blank. That's no problem. All you have to do is just unplug the TapaQ, plug it back in again, and let it set let it sit there for a few minutes and then do the update firmware button again and it will it will try to put the firmware on again. Okay, so mine is still going. Like I said, it does sometimes take a little while to to get through the update. While it's updating, sometimes what I do is just kind of look at the LCD on the TapaQ because once it's finished updating, which it just showed it finished updating okay, you can look at your TapaQ and the new version shows up. It should say like TapaQ version 4.01 or 1.03 or 0.04, whatever the latest firmware is that you put on. So you can say okay. Now you're going to wait for it to show PC connected again on your LCD, which mine does now. If it does not show PC connected and it shows low, 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 or it shows temperatures, then um, what may be the problem is that you didn't have a probe plugged in before you plugged it into the PC. So just unplug the TapaQ, plug a probe in, and then plug the TapaQ back into your PC again. Now, not all computers need to have the memory reset, just the older versions are the ones that usually do, but for the case of just causing less problems, we'll just go ahead and reset memory. So the first thing you're going to do is put a 30 right above this set throttle button, and you're going to click set throttle. And what that does is it sets in the memory that temperatures are going to be sent to the server every 30 seconds. Then you're going to see that you, if you want Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, Celsius, choose Celsius, and hit set temperature display. And what that does is it says what temperatures do you want displayed on your tap queue. I want Fahrenheit. And then I'm going to click the MAC address button. And this just sets the MAC address of your tap queue into the memory of the tap queue so that it can send temperatures faster. And then you may need to set up your Wi-Fi again 
like I said, not everybody has to do this. If you go over and you look at your Tappa Cue and it's just a green light, there's no red light, it's probably still connected to your Tappa Cue uh, or to your Wi-Fi network. You can always just hit check connection and it'll show you if it is connected or if it's not connected. If it is not connected, you'll need to go through the process of checking your saving your Wi-Fi network, saving saving the encryption type, and saving your Wi-Fi password. Okay, that's all for updating your firmware. Now it should be ready for the apps, the app updates that are going to be released here soon or depending on when you're listening to this video may already be released. If you have any questions you can always email support at innovating-solutions.com and we would be happy to help you. Okay, thank you and if you have any questions just send us an email.